Hi people, it's me again as always, Maureen Ravenberg. Um, in this video, as you can tell from the header, I'm briefly going to discuss uh, my beloved Lord Samael and uh, his healing properties. Now, Samael by default, uh, by the way, if you have no idea who Samael is, check the link in the description below and or wait for the end screen for a pop-up video. Uh, the link in the description below will lead to his article, okay? Simply article Samael, uh, colon. Um, but yeah, the majority of people that are watching this are familiar with the Archangel Samael, the ruler of Mars, etc, etc. He is my patron, my number one spirit that I work with. He is the most important thing in my life to me as an occultist. He is the absolute number one with my beloved Vice Lord and Vice Patron Sandal Fun um, as uh, the second most important thing uh, in my life. Only second to obviously Samael. Now, in any case, in relation to Samael, uh, guess what, Samael uh, also has proficiency in healing and a good deal of proficiency in that. By default, the stereotypical um, angels you would go to, as in uh, the top rulers uh, in relation to healing, would be um, Archangel Raphael, the ruler of the sun essentially, since the sun covers healing. Or alternatively, Archangel Michael, since he rules over Mercury, uh, and Mercury also has healing properties. Or uh, Archangel Raziel, since Archangel Raziel uh, rules over Neptune. Um, you name it, take your pick. You've also got Zatkiel, Archangel Zatkiel, also because he rules over Jupiter. And by proxy, both for Raziel, this applies to both Raziel and uh, Zatkiel. Bear in mind, Zatkil with a D, not with a P. Zatkil with a P, so Zatkil uh, rules over Saturn. Uh, yeah, he barely has any, he also has healing properties, but barely any worth mentioning. In any case, uh, in relation to Raziel and Zatkil, that covers the mental aspect because they rule over Pisces um, uh, in relation to their Kabbalistic planetary spheres. Okay, since Neptu, both Neptune and Jupiter rule over, Nept, uh, over Pisces and Pisces covers mental illnesses primarily, then yeah, they can help you out in that department if, mentally, if you're mentally ill or if you want healing of a spiritual nature. Um, and uh, Lord Raphael, Archangel Raphael is overall uh, for both mental as well as physical, just overall healing and Michael primarily for... Um, for um, for physical healing, since Mercury rules uh, that he rules over rules over in its turn over Virgo. Uh, I do need to point out though that Michael says that he has uh, above average levels of proficiency in this, but mm, he's not a specialist per se. But he can redirect you as the ruler of Mercury, the classical ruler of Mercury. He can redirect you to. Um, the reason I say classical is because uh, there's always been some confusion about this or debate about this that um, him and Raphael either uh, rule one or the other because there, you've got conflicting classical sources that say that Raphael rules Mercury and Michael rules the Sun. Um, of course that is not true. I've already addressed this in uh, I think an old video of mine or in several videos of mine in the past. but. The thing is that since they've been confused with each other, they both have average levels of proficiency in each other's spheres. So Raphael also is also good at mercurial things uh, on an average level, and Michael vice versa. He also can uh, has some uh, average or moderate proficiency, even slightly above average proficiency, in relation to solar. Um, in relation to solar requests or things relating to the sun, in relation to solar inquiries, if you will. Uh, or solar petitions uh, of a spiritual nature, of course. Now, um, <coughs> um, the reason I bring this up in any case, um, oh yeah, Michael, as I was going to say before I continue, Michael says that he can, um, since he, despite the fact that he rules Mercury, he is, um, his level of proficiency is above average in terms of physical healing, but he's more than happy to redirect anyone that's in need of it or anyone that's in need of, um, of healing uh, to a specific uh, angelic spirit or an angel that, um, that aligns near perfectly with, um, with Virgo and therefore can absolutely specialize in physical healing. 
Uh, other than that, you know, there are so many grimoires out there that cover spirits that are proficient in healing, um, including infernal spirits like demons and whatnot. Examples are Buer from the Goetia, B U E R, and Lucifer from the Grimorium Verum. But, um, you know, so one is, for example, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, skilled um, by 7, if you will. And the other one, uh, a five, honestly, in terms of proficiency. And it all depends, you know, on the level of healing and, and it might have, uh, especially in working with infernal spirits by default, it might have, um, it might have uh, negative side effects. Okay, so if you're healed, for example, there might be some, there is some catch, which is generally the case in working with uh, infernal spirits. There's a catch to it. Results might be quick quicker relatively speaking compared to other spirits but there's going to be a catch uh, like uh, for example some other misfortune befalling you or something along those lines you for example slight financial loss you name it or a financial setback you name it and tips for that is the general rule when it comes to uh, working with infernal spirits anyways i want to drift too far off course um, that was just a sideline to explain everything uh, all of the spirits that i've mentioned also contributed to everything i said on the spot um, you know, relaying information to me and I in my turn say what they're saying, so to speak, and whatnot, yeah. Uh, literally as well as figuratively. Anyways, in relation to Samuel, Samuel has also specialized in healing because I put him in charge of healing me, or I put him in charge of my mental and physical health and strength. Ever since I started working with him, which was honestly lifetimes ago, it feels like lifetimes ago, uh, five years roughly estimated uh, four to five years and in any case it's been years and of course in the beginning Samael needed to gain some experience but he's become very proficient at it um, and of course the Mar because Mars and the Sun also have uh, generally speaking when it comes to healing and when it comes to strength they have similar qualities so they share slightly similar qualities um slightly to mild or moderate and or similar qualities mild, moderate to mo mild to moderate qualities sorry uh, ranging in between slight and, and moderate um and for that reason it wasn't too hard for him so to speak to actually uh, specialize himself in healing on a scale of one to ten he'd be able to heal you seven on a scale of one to ten i give him a seven in terms of healing seven seven and a half uh, and I have no complaints, okay? That's why you guys have rarely seen me sick or anything like that when I record videos. Um, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm not gonna say that I never get sick. Uh, but when I do get sick, it's barely worth mentioning. It's a slight uh, a cough or a fever or uh, a case of the flu, a very slight case of the flu. And it goes away in days, okay, in under a week easily, in a couple of days, let's just say over the weekend. Uh, I, I'm automatically healed in two, three days tops in general. Um, and this is obviously, for me, it's uh, not that I'm, a, I'm not aware of it already. Obviously, I know it. I know so. It's a tremendous, um, it's, it's been a tremendous uh, few steps up and, and a tremendous benefit to me okay having him in charge of my health but then again i know what i'm doing obviously i knew what i was doing right from the start when i appointed that task to him um before him i used to get sick at least once a year and it would last maybe a week or two weeks it it would be something that was serious enough to the point where i had to go to the doctor for it basically a mild to moderate uh, case of the flu or something like that okay something along those lines um, whereas now I rarely get sick, really rarely, it, um, at the point where I can't keep track of it, even if I expose myself to really, really negative elements, let's just say weather or similar, to the point where the average person or I before oh, I was an occultist would definitely get seriously sick. Uh, now it's no different than a slight case of the flu, okay, for example walking out in, in, in really annoying weather, for example, rain when it's hot outside and it's a mild rain, you know, the, the kind of rain that 
that is present when it rains during that kind of weather but at the same time it's also still really hot outside and dusty like 35 degrees with dust being kicked up and whatnot that kind of rain especially if it falls on your back will make you seriously sick but uh, and that happened to me recently but I recovered in a matter of days like two or three days thanks to him which I'm already aware of and even then the only things I had were like sneezing slightly but I was able-bodied in any case other examples I can give are like um, um, are for example um, a slight ear infection also goes away in a matter of days for example if I went swimming excess water in my ear you name it my point is I expose myself to a good deal of crap bluntly put um, I've noticed that um, also thanks to him of course but thanks to the strength he provides me with both mentally and physically of course he's not the only one but he's the main instigator the head instigator in doing so I can literally just do whatever the hell I want without having to worry about being sick or anything like that okay even if I want to take the risk I know that I can take it because I'll be healing rapidly but before that like I said before that it was a real issue um, the last example that I can give is where I needed to have a wisdom tooth pulled um, there were remains or remnants or at the core the, cro uh, the, the crown of a wisdom tooth was still lost in the back of my gums and it was such a nuisance I've had it ever since I was a child but it's only now that I managed to pull it out because um, I was told that it was simply um, the nerve endings were cut off or similar um, to the point where where it was not supposed to be an issue anymore but it was still an issue and it was so it posed so much of an issue that it infected my gums to the point where if I just briefly put pressure on on my gums while brushing my teeth my mouth would bleed relentlessly or when for example slightly biting on something hard or similar okay it simply caused painful swollen gums and uh, when I had it removed I simply finally went to the dentist because I hate going to the dentist the same reason for the same reason that the average person does when I finally went to the dentist to have it removed because it was unavoidable uh, he advised me as well then um, I, I recovered rapidly you know when I show it, showed it to the average person they were like wow you really have a high threshold for pain I wouldn't be able to handle that level of pain I mean and you're sitting here talking to me despite the fact that you can't even open your mouth uh, without him it would have been a lot worse and I would have been bedridden and I would have gotten a case of fever, the flu and everything, you know. I really would have been like a, a, a patient. But I simply went about my day and I still managed to do everything just regularly. The pain was, was there, it was intense, but he helps me manage the pain like a boss. I mean, my pain threshold has gone from like 5 to 9. Doesn't matter how painful something is, I can easily withstand it. Um, obviously both mentally uh, as well as physically but a lot more mentally than physically based on the nature of who I am and what I do as an occultist um, and yeah even if you do need treatment he can definitely guide you to the appropriate channels okay that's what he also did for me in certain instances okay he automatically guides me to the point where I know you know where what doctor to go to what clinic you know everything just happens automatically in a fast and smooth way no delays and whatnot I know that hey I need antibiotics I'm just like hey doc I've got this and this and that I need antibiotics just give it to me please please prescribe it to me I take the antibiotics and done in a day or two I'm done you know my point is he puts speed behind everything everything is so fast and flexible and fluid um, another reason for why I love my beloved Lord Samuel so much reason number thousand and one <laughs> Um, and yeah, that's in any case it. Um, so if anyone is looking for a healing spirit, he can also definitely help you out, okay, in a very assertive kind of way, in a very cardinal way, as in grab the bull by the horns kind of way. That's all, guys. Bye.